just yesterday at the time of me recording this at least and you know probably by the time you watch this it'll be two days ago but sony just put out their latest playstation state of play and one of the things in there was an announcement and subsequent shadow drop of a brand new free-to-play silent hill game called silent hill the short message I was not quite sure what to expect from a single player story driven free to play Silent Hill game, but after playing it, I'm happy to say that we finally got a new Silent Hill game that is good after way too long, but in the most unexpected way. But let's talk about it. Hi guys, DPX here, reviewing today Silent Hill The Short Message. But before you do that, you know what to do. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell, leave a comment, or I will haunt you. Starting off with the good, in Silent Hill Short Message, you follow a teenage girl named Anita who goes to Silent Hill and is searching for her friend Maya while texting back and forth with her other friend, Emily. Without getting into too much detail about the story, it takes a lot of twists and turns and is surprisingly fleshed out for the length of the game. It also gets very dark, as it should since it's Silent Hill, but particular in its theming of suicide. Silent Hill The Short Message tackles that theme very respectfully and very well, for lack of a better term. Normally, I would talk about the gameplay, but the gameplay in this game doesn't really have that much to it. In a way, and this is gonna sound mean, but I don't mean it to sound mean, but you could almost call it a walking sim. I do say almost though, because it's not about the gameplay, but rather the horror. And Silent Hill The Short Message does not disappoint with the horror. There are certain sections of the game that really had my heart racing, because they were very scary and trippy. And when it was trippy, the game was even more scary. Not to mention, the way the atmosphere changes is incredibly impressive. There are these maze sections that I'll touch on more in a bit later, but in these maze sections, there are a lot of doors and you can go into one of them, but then it leads you to pretty much exactly where you just were. Other times, you trigger something in the game and the entire atmosphere changes completely. It's almost like how Alan Wake 2 did it, but not as insane but still really impressive there are also many cutscenes that are shot in live action and the way the game transitions from gameplay to live action is seamless there's also the visuals i need to talk about because even though the game has live action footage the in-game visuals look almost as good as live action well maybe not that good but the game still looks amazing and lastly silent hill the short message as the name may imply, is short, but sweet. Sweet might not be the correct word to describe this game, but you know what I mean. It makes sense and is actually pretty based when you consider how shitty Konami can be that they gave this game for free. And I think it is definitely worth the free download. Moving on to the things I'm mixed on, the first thing is the music. I wasn't even going to mention the music, but I kind of do that in all my reviews. But the reason I wasn't going to mention it is... What music? This game has music? I wanted to say that, you know, maybe it's just a horror game and Silent Hill doesn't normally have music that's good, just music to fit the mood. But that's not entirely true. Silent Hill has some bangers that still manage to completely fit the mood. It's undermixed because, let's be real, I don't care that much. It's not even something I noticed while playing, it was more something I noticed while writing this review. I'm only bringing it up as per my own quota that I put upon myself. And the other thing isn't so much something that bothers me, but it's worth bringing up. And I'm not sure where else I would bring it up because I wouldn't put this in the bad necessarily, but there's inherently not much to this game. Silent Hill The Short Message is by design a very small game, and I praised how the game is short and sweet, but I still think it's worth addressing. It doesn't overstay its welcome, 
but it also doesn't understay its welcome. There was never a point where I was just waiting for the game to be over, but when it was over, I wasn't particularly hungry for more. It's a game that had I not put it down to go to bed, I could have easily finished it in one sitting for about two hours. Hell, if you really know what you're doing, it could take you less. It's not a bad thing, and I think there should be more free-to-play games like this instead of all free-to-play games being online multiplayer battle pass infected games, but it's something that I feel was worth bringing up, and I probably spent a little bit more time doing so than I might have needed to. Now onto the bad, one thing I want to say is... While it wasn't all the time, some of the dialogue just did not seem right. Sometimes they were delivered weirdly or they were delivered very slowly. But just something about the dialogue at times, okay, I want to stress not always, but at times just fell off to me. And the other thing I didn't like were the mazes. I mentioned them earlier, but really it was just one in particular, but they made me shit myself at first. But after a little while, Especially when the game gives you no hints on what to do to get out of the maze. That was the only time I felt like the game dragged. It wasn't the game that overstayed its welcome. It was the maze that overstayed its welcome. I know I complained about some things, but overall, Silent Hill The Short Message is a nice, pleasant surprise. It left me perfectly content when I was finished with it, but as I was playing through it, it provided the correct amount of horror along with twists and turns all throughout the story. While we still need to see how the future of the Silent Hill franchise plays out, Silent Hill The Short Message shows that we're off to a good start, but in the most unexpected way. That being said, I'm going to give Silent Hill The Short Message an 8.5 out of 10. It's probably not going to be in my top 10 best games of the year, but it's still good nonetheless. So that's my review for Silent Hill The Short Message. Definitely a shorter one because the game is really short, so I don't have as much to talk about. But what do you guys think of this game? It's a free-to-play game, so I suggest you check it out. But do you guys like it, not like it? Do you guys... Have you guys played it, not played it? And if you haven't played it, do you guys want to play it, not want to play it? Anything about the game, let me know down below. Anyways, be sure to like this video, come subscribe, or I will haunt you.